we usually highlight stories you haven't heard in Oklahoma. But if you were in Oklahoma City in early 1964, you definitely heard this story. You heard this story plenty. This is Loyal TV, and we're soaring into the house-rattling, chest-shaking tale of Operation Bongo 2. Starting in February of 64, a controversial experiment was launched by the Federal Aviation Administration, codenamed Operation Bongo 2. During this test, 1,253 separate sonic booms were generated over the capital city for a period of six months. The research was to measure the effects of transcontinental supersonic transport aircraft, the famous SSTs, on communities, including impact on structures as well as the public's general attitude. A sonic boom is a shock wave generated when an object travels faster than the speed of sound, making a noise similar to a thunderclap and occasionally causing minor damage to buildings. However, Oklahoma City residents were thought to be more tolerant of such noise as they had an economic reliance on nearby Tinker Air Force Base. As a matter of fact, the local Chamber of Commerce threw a celebratory dinner when Oklahoma was selected. Starting on February 3rd, the booms began, eight per day starting at 7 a.m. and ending in the late afternoon. The Air Force used F-104 and B-58 bomber aircraft to generate the sounds, creating sound ranges expected from SST flights. At the start, locals took to the tests in stride as the booms were predictable, sounding consistently at designated times. But in the first 14 weeks, more than 140 windows in the city's two tallest buildings were broken. And by late spring, organized civic groups took action, criticizing the FAA for poor experiment design. And next, well, the noise went national. On the 6th of June, the Saturday Review published The Era of Supersonic Morality, an article which criticized the FAA for targeting a city without truly conferring all the details to the local government. This pressure eventually put a premature end to the tests, and on July 30th, the Oklahoma City Times front page was emblazoned with the headline, Silence is Deafening. The final report said, the overwhelming majority felt they could learn to live with the booms experienced. But the FAA's poor handling of complaints led to a class action lawsuit against the U.S. government and the negative publicity is said to have influenced the cancellation of the Boeing aircraft project in 1971, as well as the United States withdrawal from SST design. Join us for more high-flying Oklahoma stories you may not know, zooming straight to you on Loyal TV.